Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 6 on object oriented ABAP. In this session I am going to uh, continue from the previous video about the inheritance. Uh, I have stopped on how to create inheritance, uh, sorry inheritance is a concept, so how to um, create a superclass and, and how to create a subclass and we, uh, we can derive the attribute and methods of a superclass and what are the restrictions for the subclass to get the information from superclass like uh, we can't able to access the private attribute or methods and uh, how to use make use of uh, the superclass attribute in a subclass method just using a write statement so the meaning either you can use it or you can overwrite it so that is a concept so the continuation is i'm going to change uh, some attribute values of superclass in my subclass and i'm going to display it and the same way uh, we are going to see about the methods uh, how we are going to call the superclass method uh, whether we can use it or if you want to overwrite or if you want to redefine it how to do that so those uh, scenarios we are going to uh, see on today's session so let's get into that and uh, the two slides just for a recap this was uh, discussed in the previous session uh, previous video with like what is superclass what are the terminologies you should know what is superclass and it should not be a final it not a final class and there are some constructors visibility section and super is a keyword and how to call uh, the methods and super is going to be used only for methods not for attributes same way for uh, subclass is nothing but an inherited class can be a superclass yes it can be and uh, redefinition power and constructor so we are going to see the redefinition and constructor uh, probably this video and uh, inheritance uh, probably constructor i'll go with another video so inheritance you can have this hierarchy like you have a superclass then you have a, a continuation of subclasses the layer one layer two layer three or you can have a superclass you can have multiple subclasses it depends on your requirement you can decide okay so let me take you into the system okay this is the system and uh, this is my super class <coughs> it has a uh, super class its own method instance static protector and private and um, and uh, i have a super class attributes uh, i have different attributes instance static and protector and private so this is going to be uh, not all except private all other attributes are going to be derived in my subclass so I can make use of it. So this attribute has some constant value. Let me go to my subclass. So here uh, you can able to see the subclass has um, derived the superclass methods except private. And you can see the properties of the subclass. I have added the superclass name here and the attribute also you're able to see the applicable attributes of a superclass is going to be available in my subclass attribute tab okay and uh, in a subclass method implementation i have used it okay i didn't change anything i just make use of the superclass attribute uh, values as it is so here this is my subclass um, method here I'm trying to display the superclass attributes which is able to derive in my subclass so uh, yesterday I just showed you by executing this now I'm going to execute the same subclass uh, here only static attribute and static methods are display I want to create an instance then it will display all the instance attribute and instance method and I'm going to execute subclass uh, instance method so it will display the values so this is the one part where you can make use of the superclass attribute without changing anything suppose if you feel you want to overwrite anything so for the attribute i'm talking about then you can start working on it over here like uh, subs instant attribute one is equal to overwrite with subclass value oops okay it's only 20 characters so okay i'll just go with overwrite with subclass value hope it just adjust okay and just write 
so class instance so you can go ahead and start working with all the attributes so here is everything is same so i don't want to take much time let me execute this go back execute and create an instance and execute subclass instance method so uh, first it will give super class in the right statement then i overwritten with my own value in the subclass uh, one of the method then it shows or it accepts the subclass value so the idea is once you get all the super class attributes you are able to use as it is or you are able to change the value as per your requirement so that is the idea of this example so now i'm going to have a method uh, like how the super class method and subclass method so here you are able to see there are some difference to identify whether it's a super class or subclass method super class are in blue color and that is not an editable mode so if you double click any super class method inside the subclass i'm in a subclass now it shows very clearly this method implementation is available in super class method only so if you click continue it will take you to the super class method editor so whatever the code inside that it will be show here so here this is the is ji underscore super it's a super class method now i'm going to um uh, redefine it before that so if you want to use asset is just uh, use your subclass object and you can do it for example i'm going to execute here i'm in subclass creating an object subclass object and i'm going to execute my super class instance method so you will get it super class instance method called okay so very quickly i will show you from ac38 let's go here open a program ac38 zgi test yes home z and the intended let's little slow z okay so zji um in heavy tens created this program executable program save it local object So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subclass object. I'm going to create an object for a subclass and try to call the superclass method, which are applicable for the subclass or which are derived to the subclass. Um, CGI underscore SUP subclass. So this is my subclass object. Now if I go to pattern, map check. So here I can say subclass object and subclass name and press F4. It shows your superclass as well as subclass methods because it's it got derived. So I'm going to call my superclass instance method. So I'm going to use it. I don't want to modify anything. I just want to use my superclass method. So that's it. So using a subclass, you're able to call your superclass method as it is. So if I execute. It shows very clearly superclass instance method called. Okay, so this is the way how you're going to do it in SE38. So it depends. Once the objects are come inside your subclass, it's all yours. Now I'm going to do a redefinition. So I want a little modification to my superclass method. Maybe I can use it, the superclass concept, superclass method concept, or you can do it uh, start from the scratch also. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, let me, okay, it's come a little bigger. Keep the cursor of the method, which superclass method, which you are do a redefinition part. And you have a button called redefinition. Okay, and this is undo redefinition. Suppose if you want to delete the redefinition, you can do it. So now I'm going to do a redefinition of my superclass. Excuse me. 
once you do uh, or once you did the redefinition part again okay, let me go back to the to the previous screen so you're able to see uh it's a little changed it's not in blue color now so it's a little black and then if you double click it won't take you to the super class implementation because it got redefined in subclass itself so if you see it will go to only subclass method editor if you double click a method which is not redefined then it will take you to the super class method implementation with a pop up saying that so this is got implemented in super class if you say continue it will take you to the super class implementation uh, method editor here it is okay so now let me go to the redefinition of the super class method and uh, so logic you can write whatever you want but initially try to understand how would this is called this works everything so i'm saying write um subclass implementation of super class method of super class method okay subclass implementation of super class method so now here i am overwriting so i don't want the logic of super class method whatever in super class let it be i want my own logic so i'm just redefine it i'm not make you making use of whatever inside the super class so this is commented by default you will get it so if you want super class as well as subclass implementation then you have to uncomment it so now what i want to do is let me uh, call the same program sorry uh program right yeah, go to the program and I, i'm not changing anything over here so this is the same subclass object and i'm going to call the super class uh, method let's see how it happens or what it happens so it is very clearly subclass implementation of super class method because i want my own logic to be executed once this super class method is called using my subclass object so that is the idea so if you want to both then the super keyword comes to a picture go to subclass uh go to the redefine method so here you just make use of the super class so i want super class method as well along with that i want my subclass method concept or functionality also uh, to be executed then you have to use a super keyword and you have to call the method which is so it is uh, implemented in the super class okay so that's what i mentioned in the last video uh, super class is going the super keyword is going to be used in the same method so for example you are in a method one so like super class instance method so now i want to call another method using a super keyword uh, which is derived from a super class that is not possible so i can't use super keyword to call another method inside of this okay so that is a different story so Uh, you are not able to do that if that is a case you have to go to the redefinition of the same method and you have to call the same method uh, super class implementation okay so if you want you can try then you will get an error for example let me try this i'm going to call a different method which is anyway which got inherited as well so i'm trying execute uh, sorry check i'm getting an error message saying what is the message yeah super can only be used to call the previous implementation of the same method okay so but this is a valid method it's inherited as well it derived to my subclass but i am calling from a different redefinition part so that's why i'm getting error so make sure you are calling uh, the same implementation sorry same method implementation using a super keyword okay afterward and now if i execute my program so it goes to super class first because super comes before the my write statement so it call the super class implementation first then subclass execute it shows super class instance method called then subclass implementation of super class method okay you can keep a break one in both the places and you can just execute it you will just come to know how it works in the debugging level as well so <sighs> execute breakpoint and if i press f5 it goes to uh, subclass implementation first 
and uh, in that it has a super keyword this will take you to the super class implementation method so here it is it's a super class uh, method implementation then it's come back to the redefinition part of your subclass it's a little slow here yeah so now it's subclass instance method so here i re this, sorry super class only but it's a redefinition part so here you're able to see which class currently you are you are in subclass okay so this is a way you can just check uh, you can have some parameters uh, maybe you can take a very simple example of any report um, sales order report i want uh, a report is going to be a different for each group of people or uh, uh, different plans or different departments so what you can do is um, you can have a super class that takes all the sales order uh, based on your requirement maybe based on the order type based on the time frame you keep um, i can say hundreds of for example so there are 100 sales order just take keep it in the super class and uh, based on the user i'm going to design uh, three different subclasses so first subclass even in the uh, different type of users so few but they depends on their designation i want to use the report as it is so what i want to do is i'm going to call the super class method as it is from my subclass one and the second one uh, based on the user uh, profile or user authorization so we are going to uh, get the sales order then we are going to segregate it okay i want i'll just get all the 100 sales order from there i'm going to segregate further down so based on some parameters then it will come 80 records for me okay so the same way i go with the subclass 2 i have some other requirement uh, logic so i need to get all the 100 sales order from the super class i'm going to apply the second subclass concept so now it'll, it might give only 30 sales orders so in this way even you don't want to wait for a very bigger or very complex uh, requirement to apply the inheritance very very simple report also you are make use of the inheritance concept okay so keep some common values common uh, program logic in the super class and have two or three more subclasses and you can derive it so everything is a design so how you designing based on your requirement it's up to you okay so just uh, try this concept like super class and subclass uh, probably if you have any queries or any doubts please uh, let me know i am happy to help uh, anything i missed in the super and subclass one second yep this is the major one how to call how to do the redefinition and how to access your super class methods uh, i don't want to again put the same concept over here how to use the parameters for methods how to pass a value those things we already covered it so try to use that in this uh, inheritance concept also so get the sales order from the super class method and segregate it based on your requirement and display it or update it whatever you want you can do it okay so hope this might be useful for you uh, just play around with the inheritance and if you have any doubts please let me know and uh, thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye